Hi, if you're new around here, my name is Jack and nice to meet you on the internet. This is something that I was trying to avoid making because you could just Google the steps on the internet and it will take you less than a minute para makuha yung information na kailangan mo. But the YouTube algorithm is so persistent in pushing my channel about this topic, specifically how to open a savings account. So here it is. I guess ang gagawin ko na lang is I'll try to add additional information para hindi siya yung oras nyo. And I'll try to explain yung purpose of each account accordingly, specifically savings account, life insurance policy, and investment account. First on this list is savings account. So the question is, how to open a savings account? For traditional banking, you need personal appearance, two valid IDs, initial deposit, and application forms. I think in 2020, yan na lang yung requirements nila based on their websites, but meron ako mga nabasa na blogs that some banks require one by one or two by two picture pa. So if hindi hassle sa inyo, magdala na rin lang kayo. For digital banking, I think ING and CIMB are the leading brands when it comes to the digital banking space. So here are their requirements. For CIMB, they have fewer requirements. Just download the app, one valid ID, selfie verification, then confirmation in your email. For ING, you need to download the app, proof of address, selfie verification, valid ID, photo of your signature, and that's it. So what is a savings account? A savings account is an account where doon ka magsisave ng pera mo while the bank does the safekeeping for you. Ano yung advantage of having a savings account? The advantages of having a savings account is, number one, uh, pwede ka mag-withdraw almost anywhere through ATMs. Number two is, mas organize yung account mo. Siyang tingin mo lang, alam mo agad kung magkano yung laman ng pera mo. You can check it through your app, through your website, through your passbook, or through uh, balance inquiry sa ATM machines. Lastly, if you have a savings account or you're planning to open a savings account, good for you kasi you're on your first step towards financial freedom. Uh, based on statistics, only 20% of Filipinos has a registered bank account. So, parang alam mo yun, it's a simple win for you, so you could give yourself a pat on your back. Second on this list is insurance policy. So, what are the steps for you to have an insurance policy? For life insurance, you need to meet up with an advisor, agent, or representative of the insurance company. They will help you get the right kind of insurance for you because there are so many variety of life insurance. Plus, they will also conduct a brief assessment of your medical history. Now, for the requirements, you need to fill up an application form, one valid ID, and your initial premium payment. So, para saan ba tong life insurance policy? Basically, a life insurance policy is your family's financial protection to uncertainties. It will not guarantee na hindi ka magkakasakit, hindi ka mamamatay, or hindi ka maaksidente. But, what it will guarantee sa'yo is once na that those unexpected events happen, your insurance policy will provide for your needs or your family's needs if that uncertain thing happens. Third on this list is an investment account. So, there are a lot of types or kinds of investment account. But, for this video, mag-focus lang tayo muna sa equity investment accounts. So basically, these are your UITFs, mutual funds, and stock trading accounts. For the banks, they usually offer UITF as their investment product. While for the investment houses, they usually offer mutual fund as their investment product. So ano yung pinagkaparehas na itong dalawang product na to? The common thing between these two is they are both under the category of pooled funds. So what is a pooled fund? So ang pooled fund, meaning lang nito is, uh, pinagsasama-sama yung money ng mga investors and then pipili sila ng fund nila and there will be a fund manager managing their money. For stock trading accounts, you're going to buy individual stock and hoping na at some point in time, magi increase yung value niya compared dun sa price point kung saan niya siya binili. So, how to open an account for UITF? Since it's offered by the banks, you have to go there physically. I'm assuming they will require you a team number and dapat may savings account ka sa kanila. If you don't want to go to the branch, there are banks where you could do this online for as long as you have registered online account with them. For stock trading accounts like BDO Nomura or BPI Trade, which is partnered bank, for as long as you have an online account with them, I think you could register it online. For COL Financial or Phil Stocks or other online stock brokerage firm, they will require you valid ID, filled out forms, funding of account. Based from their sites, pwede na yung non-physical appearance for as long as you'll package them the requirements and there will be a video call for verification at the end. For mutual fund, based from my experience with Sun Life, you need to meet with an advisor that has an investment solicitor license. Then again, ID, TIN, and forms and payments obviously. So para saan ba tong investment accounts na to? Before kasi, savings account can do the work. Laging mo lang dun yung pera mo, lalaki na yung money mo and it will beat inflation. 
But in today's age, hindi na ganun yung case. Pag pinatambay mo yung pera mo sa savings account mo, yung interest niya is almost negligible and lugi ka pa sa inflation rate. Hi, sorry for the quick interruption. Nakalimutan ko explain yung mini ng inflation rate when I was recording this earlier. So basically, ang mini lang naman ng inflation rate is yung pagbagsak ng buying power mo. So what you could buy before in the 80s ng 500 pesos mo, hindi mo na siya mabibili ngayon. So basically, yun lang yung mini ng inflation rate. If you're still enjoying this video, kindly hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Alright, back to the video. So, if you want to grow your money and beat inflation, you want to put your money in an investment account. Plus, ito na din yung mga types of investment na pinupuntahan ng mga tao when they want to prepare for their retirement fund and yung kids college tuition fee nila, which is yung educational fund ngayon. That's it for this video. I hope you learned something new from this video. Just a reminder lang, I'm just another guy on the internet saying things based from my experience and personal knowledge. I'm not claiming to be a money expert or anything, so always do your due diligence. So have your personal research when it comes to your own money. If you want to hear me talk more about personal finance stops, you could check yung uh, personal finance playlist ko. I have a bunch of informative videos out there. Also, let me know in the comment section what you want to know more about. Either personal finance bayan, self-help, uh, self-improvement, adulting, or kaya with regards to camera, which I don't really talk about here in this channel. So let me know in the comment section what you want to know more about because I really don't know what you want to know more about. Lastly, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. That's it. Bye.